Welcome to Sip No Tech. I'm Alex. How are you doing? We have a few different Huawei Mate 9 cases here from different manufacturers we're going to take a look at today. And which one do I think is the best for the Huawei Mate 9? Well, stay tuned to find out. My least favorite case is probably this one right here. This is designed by Huawei. This is the one that actually came in the box that we actually checked out in the unboxing. And um, although the, the black here is very sleek and actually looks like the black from the Obsidian black color that we have here, um, it, it offers no protection. And this thing is actually very flimsy. It shifts in your hand. When I'm holding it, I notice that it's shifting, see? It doesn't um, hold the phone in place very well. It's one of those X mechanics that only cover the edges and holds it in place through the edges. So that doesn't offer a lot of support and that's all you need to know. Now, they do sell it individually on Amazon and uh, while we actually made some pretty good default cases for other phones, but the Mate 9 one here, I have to say, uh, skip this one. So taking the Huawei Design one off, we are taking a look at one that I did get on Amazon for, I think this is like $9 or $10 from VVIA. And uh, this is a very standard case that you probably have had many times on other phones. And uh, this is the same style where it's the, the dual layers. So we have, actually, before I put it on, we have two layers, right? We have the bumper and also this particular TPU case. So you basically put it in together, make sure everything is snapped in before you put your phone in. Oop, sorry, phone is upside down. <laughs> I've actually done that a few times. The phone, uh, when I'm using it on YouTube and stuff too, like this, and then I realize, oh wait, no, the phone is upside down, so I have to flip it. But yeah, here is the case, the VVIA case. This is a nine or $10 case, pretty solid build. It looks like it's carbon fiber, but it's not carbon fiber. This is all plastic. Uh, this is actually really soft. And I imagine this will get scratched pretty easily. The indentures are pretty deep. So as you can see, the fingerprint scanner is still um, very accessible. The cutouts are, are relatively good. For some reason, I've noticed most of the case makers for the Huawei Mate 9, the cutouts for the fingerprint scanner, there's a little more opening on the bottom. For some reason, they didn't cut it like perfectly on the center of the fingerprint scanner, they leave a lot of room on the bottom. So I don't know why it's not like one's a miscut. Most of them with that particular hole have a bigger slot on the bottom, which is kind of interesting. So there's a lot more space on the bottom here. But uh, yeah, it's deeper too. This is a thicker case. So uh, it offers more protection for flat, for flat surfaces uh, because it does have a bumper on it. So, I mean, this one is a very typical case. It does muffle the audio a little bit from what I've, um, from my experience using this. And the buttons, they're a little plasticky, but you know what? It's a case, it does what it's supposed to do. And I like this one too. This one's a pretty good one. This one is very solid for 10 bucks. You could do worse. So which case is the best for the Huawei Mate 9? Well. Obviously, since I saved this for last, it has to be this one. <laughs> this is the Nilkin Huawei Mate 9 case. And I have a matte black, well, they call it matte black uh, color here. And here is why I really like this case. The first thing is that it is very thin. This thing looks like it's not even on here. It's, it's, a, it, it's definitely a very sexy case if you are like minimal, minimalistic cases that don't really protrude too much and so when i first showed this to lita she didn't even know i was buying cases for this phone because i really like the obsidian black the obsidian black is so freaking sexy but uh when i showed it to her she didn't even know the case was on and well she's a little ditzy there because the texture the texture is different and one of the biggest problems with the huawei mate 9 with its naked body is that it is really slippery and it's a big phone too. So it, it slides off your hands, especially if you have moist hands like I do. I keep saying that in every video. The grip isn't that great. And so um, it slides off your hand really easily. This solves the problem because although it covers that really sexy color, the grip trade-off is much better and it's really thin. So it doesn't 
protrude as much as a lot of those thick cases do. And the protection here is actually pretty darn good. You're missing the top and the bottom like a lot of these particular cases um, do. But that's also a benefit because there is an IR blaster on this particular phone. And also those speakers are more exposed, so you do have that clean audio. The audio on the Huawei Mate 9 is very good. We'll talk about more of that in the review once it's out again. But uh, the exposure here actually is beneficial for this particular phone too. And it doesn't add much bulk. So this actually could be, like I said, Lita mistook it for the actual phone without a case until uh, I actually told her, like, how can you not see this? There's a case on here. But uh, the color is really nice. This black is very sexy. It reminds me of that matte black from this particular Obsidian black phone. So I, I really do think this is probably the best case I've ever used. Once again, my name is Alex from Sip Note Tech. This is a winner right here, this Killin' one, um, this brand. I'm gonna be definitely checking it out for other phones when I get other phones too, if I buy cases. So uh, be sure to subscribe because the full review of the Honor 8, Honor 8, dang it, why did I keep saying that? The Mate 9. <laughs> my full review of the Mate 9 will be out very soon. It's almost done. Uh, I really like this phone, so I have a lot to talk about for this particular device. And I will see you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time.